So, very keen to, to point out to you that in traditional legal, pact, in legal teaching, the focus is upon courts, court decisions. There's very little discussion outside of court decisions, appellate decisions even. You don't even deal with first instance. Here, we're going to be dealing with settlements of the cases. Settlements are tremendously important. Look at the figures I've got on the board. Only 1% get as far as the door of the court. And about half of those are settled before trials takes place. So very few cl claims actually result in trials. 86% of claims are settled before there's even any formal notice of a claim. Before formal legal proceedings are instituted, the cases are settled. 86% before the formal uh, 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 notes of claim, 13% afterwards, only 1% get as far as the door of the court. And, and what we have 71,000 settlements a month, 853,000 settlements last year. Uh, um, compared to trials, well, com compared to those, those 83,000 cases which were settled, 853,000 that were settled, we had about 1,100 1, uh, going for trial. That, 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 that's a figure I've got which is now more than 10 years old. That's still roughly right. Our trials in the High Court, uh, about 11, 1,200 or so, dealing with personal injury. County Court, with, which are smaller value claims, they ran to about 6,000. But you can say that you know, trials overall, certainly less than 10,000 compared to 850,000 settlements. Trials are a very small uh, 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 number by comparison with settlements. And th these are figures and tables I've given you before. And the type of claims that you're dealing with in, in personal injury, it's overwhelmingly, isn't it, motor accidents. These 77% of present uh, uh, claims are for motor, uh, I said to you before, compared to only 10% for uh, uh, work accidents, 11% for public, and medical, 2%. Um, that's the sort of claims you're actually dealing with in practice, and the numbers uh, of, of those claims, 862,000, one for every 77 people in the UK. I gave you this table last time. Um, the number of motor claims, 660,000 compared to 80,000 for employers or for public. A total of about 862. And the trends in the, in the claims, I, I've given you this as well to, to reinforce this. Uh, um, the motor uh, stayed very flat for the first uh, years of, of, of this century. Uh, um, from 2000 to 2006, they were very, very stable, around just under 400,000. And then you see this graph uh, showing a considerable increase. They, they doubled, the motor claims doubled. That's what we're talking about in today's t tutorials for Tutorial 7. You know, why and how that happened. Uh, the, the propensity to claim in motor increased for a whole variety of reasons. It doubled from 2006 uh, to 2000. And 16, it has slightly declined, especially in the last two years. But it's still twice the level almost uh, as it was uh, back in 2005. Mo employer claims have remained very flat in recent times. They were a little bit higher. Uh, that was for special reasons that, that existed in the early years of the century. Uh, there were special schemes of compensation for pneumoconiosis and for other types of uh, 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 cold diseases. Uh, and that was a, a blip, as it were. Otherwise, they're all very stable indeed, and public ones, incredibly stable. Uh, there's no compensation culture uh, here uh, in the stats, at any rate. That's what we talked about last time. 